Hi, this is Brooke with Phillips Fiber. Something beautiful to show you. You got to check this out. All right. What do you think? Is this beautiful or what? What's your first reaction? I know what my first reaction was. My first reaction was, oh my goodness, how did you do that? Oh, I could never do that. That's not even going to happen. You know, maybe I could pay somebody to do it for me. I know a couple people. Cheryl Phillips. Now, that lady can quilt. But guess what? It's as simple as ABC. Let me show you how simple it really is. All right, so here it is in simpler colors. Basically solids. Now, you still can't see the lines. Do you know it's just squares? Can you see the lines? Right here. I got a little tool. It's going to help you see it. This is the first block. We call it A. This is, again, the A block. This is the B block. This is also the B block. Check out what that rotation did. Look at that cool shape. We're getting shapes that we didn't have before. Here is another block. This is called the C block. This same block, but we're mirroring it. Again, look at that shape. We didn't have that before. H how do you get that with a square? Let me show you. So you have three blocks, A, B, and C. Let's start with A. You break it apart and you see you have two fulls and two partial wedges. That's it. The B block, the same. Four squedge pieces, just made with a strip set. The C block is the combination of A and B. You can see how simple it is. All right, so we're back to the batik. Can you see it now? Here is your square. Yeah, square. That's all you have in it. You've got an A square, a B square, and a C square. Yeah, you got this. So you need your 22.5. You need your King's Courtyard pattern, which includes both sizes. And you can find them both at phillipsfiberart.com. Hope to see you there.